single Shafixti left. Well, not anymore actually, as uh, we've just discovered. There we go. Greetings, Captain! It is good to see you again! You too. Oh, Tanaka, okay, that's his name. Um, we have got an important duty for you, Tanaka, Shafixti man. Come on now. Nothing new to report, sir! Nothing too. I guard the homeworld. What is he doing here? I seek revenge against its destroyers, the Urquan, and their vile battle thralls. I await the return of the hero Daikan and the rebirth well, of my species. Well, let's just re let's just make your species reborn. Then come on now. What happened to his ship, by the way, actually? On my way home, I encountered a Vox intruder. Before I destroyed it, the Vox was able to affix some of those vile limpid things to my ship. And I had to return home at a greatly diminished speed. I did find one thing interesting though, as I skimmed to the edge of Yehat space. I dropped into Zeta Sextantis to recharge some of my depleted energy cells. So I moved into the extreme inner system. There, right next to the sun, I found a very strange planet. It messed up my sensors somehow. That's why I could not recognize your ship at first. I'd never seen a planet like that before, so maybe you should investigate. Okay then, Zeta Sextantis, um, I guess one quest leads to another. Um, what happened to his glory device, did he? Why didn't he use that? It's good that he didn't. That's awesome. During my battle with the Mux, I decided to employ the weapon, but I guess I used too much gusto, and the switch broke. Jeez, that's lucky, isn't it? Imagine if he had died, that would be... That'd be quite an anti-climax, really. Um, My people mind. blew up the sun! <laughs> or at least oh, they caused it to flare it. like a nova, destroying the many hundreds of hierarchy vessels that had invaded our system to enslave right, us. So I guess his homeworld's gone. Um, how did he survive? What the hell? I wasn't here was he not there at the time? Flare. I was assigned to a Yahat squadron as a forward scout performing a deep recon in my country's space. We were sent to investigate reports of unusual Micron activity around the Beta Brahi. I was the first ship to enter the system. My scanners showed a small fleet of Micron clustered around the planet, conducting a test of some device. The unit was small, not even half the size of my ship. When the Micron activated it, a glow began to radiate outward. I crept closer to get a better look. Suddenly, there was a flare, like a newborn sun, blinding me and overloading my senses. When I recovered my vision, hours later, the Micron and their device were gone. I was able to effect repairs on my sensors and depart the system, but I had been cut off from my squadron and had to travel home alone. Right, so Zeta Sextantis and Beta Brahe now, um, in my con space. Who are those horrible podship guys? Who I think we can probably take down now. It's just when we didn't have very good weapons, we fight them. Um, for them. So I think we should just get to the point now. You have an important duty. Let's get on. Let's get on with it. Come on now. It's time for you to finally, you know, make use of your life. What might that be? I can give you the opportunity to replenish your species. Yes. I am intrigued, Captain. But what are you talking about? Well, Tanaka, we have obtained the females of your species from Great a horrible Vox man. You shall be honored forever, Captain, as the savior of the Shofisti race. I have been granted the ultimate reward, uh, duty. This humble warrior will take the Shofisti millions you possess, gently wake them, and then perform ribald feats of unsurpassed fertility. With their consent, of course. Our people shall be reborn. Your name shall be recorded in our most sacred writings for all time. Thank you, Captain, and farewell. I have urgent business to attend to. Okay, cool. Tanaka, you get you get down to work, and we'll uh, we'll leave you to it, I guess. Um, so we've given them the Shafixti maidens now. Um, and he's going off somewhere. Where, the, where is he going even? Why, why even go off anywhere? There's no one even around Elskorna. It's probably like the safest place on the entire star map and you're leaving. 
Anyway, um, yeah, so let's have a look. Let's get in the quasi portal and, uh, well, I guess uh, now that we completed that quest, uh, we've still got the two things that the Shafixti just talked about. They just talked about um, Zeta Sixtantus, uh, I've got to remember that, and also Beta Brahe. Um, both of which have apparently something that messed up his sensors or something um, very bright. So I want to go and explore that. That'd be cool um, to have something bright. Don't know why it would help us, but why would he tell us? Why would the game tell us about those plants if it didn't have some meaning? But it's the first time in a while we've been back to the Earth, so let's uh, go back and talk to the commander at the starbase. And we have a few minerals to offload, um, and we've got a few IUs from killing ships, so uh, let's talk to him. I'm at your disposal, Captain. First of all, minerals to offload. Got lots of exotics, so... Well, fuel them up. for the fire, eh, Captain? That last load That's should right. keep it blazing. Commander Hayes. We got shall lots of lovely return, IUs. Captain. So lots of ore ships, uh, two spathies, the Zotfot pick ships that I just randomly have there. Um, which is cool. Let's just fuel up. And fuel to get so many RUs. We might as well use the RUs instead of the biodata to get fuel, you know. I mean, we've got the three tracking devices, lots of crew, lots of fuel, and uh, we don't really need the storage base, but I'll just keep them there. Um, now, I'm gonna fill up on fuel here. Good thing about this. Do I want to um, get rid of some of these ships? I think I do, because. You know, it's probably not really worth it. Uh, well, it might be worth it. That's the only reason I'm doing it, really. It probably won't be too exciting. So I might have it off camera. But I think I'm going to try and go back to the Zophot pick and get those four um, Stinger uh, ships that they said they were going to give us because, of course, we didn't have any space before. So if we go back, they may give us the ships. And that would just give us an extra few RUs. Why not? Um, so I'm going to head off now uh, and see if I have any luck doing so. Oh, well, at least there's an Urquan here. Um, don't mind some free RUs if it's available. It's also fun to battle the Urquan, they're quite a good opponent, I guess. Well, kind of. Your insubordination is intolerable. You must obey our slave laws. Further disobedience will result in punitive measures against your homeworld. Jeez, do they just not know who we are? Hello, Urquan, are you paying attention? We're just going to destroy you. In our 20,000 years, along the path of now and forever, we have dominated thousands of species, yes. But we have saved hundreds from extinction. You imagine the threat of unknown invaders or alien pestilence born on the solar wind. We have seen these, but you do not acknowledge your own worst enemy, yourselves. We have found dead worlds without number, planets ravaged by atomic fire or Gaian collapse. These planets were not rendered sterile by outside forces. They bear sad testament to the effects of unrestrained instinct and emotion, or simple ignorance. We will prevent such mistakes. You know what, they always they always say something that makes you feel like they're good. I just... They're just so good at making them sound like the, the guys on, on, the, on our side. There we go, we just absolutely nailed that one. We lost three crew. Wow, that was a good battle for us. Uh, good, some good IUs there, but they—they're really good at you know making them sound good. I—I I, I, still—I still don't know though. I've still not really decided. Right now, I'm still going to say they're bad, but there are some things that make them sound good. Well, that was a complete waste of time. They didn't give us anything. Um, yeah, so that was that was fun. 
completely pointless zot plug pick as always. Um, I really want to destroy some more Urquan though. While we're here, you know, that's probably one of the best things about going to the zot plug pick. You can just kill all these Urquan. Um, let's take down these ones. Who are these? Green or black? It is three blacks. Okay, let's take them down. Let's talk to them first. We are the Urquan Core. Ah, you have evaded our attempts to cleanse. You are no longer filth. You are a threat. Threats deserve greater attention than filth. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. Um, what? Let's just, uh, let's just, let's just ask what he's hanging over, I guess. Did. In here is one skeleton from each of the races, which I personally exterminated. I fondled these bones and recall the fine cleansing. Perhaps your bones will grease this pit momentarily, unless they are accidentally vaporized. Ah, what a joke from the uh, from the Korra. Um, just just doesn't know what's what's coming for him, really, does it? Yeah, your little spinny blades are really effective. Of damage to us. Let's just stay to But there's half your crew gone, and I don't think you've done any damage to us. Nope, not one bit, Death 13. Unlucky for some, obviously unlucky for you. Um, here's Death 17. I think. I, I swear I've destroyed him. Um, didn't I destroy him already? Did Snellapy take him down? I don't know, maybe it's another Death 17 taking his place. Pretty poor effort last time, another Death 17. Lost to a Spathy. Um, uh, so yeah, there we go. Finally, Death 37. Uh, this guy is... Oh god, he's got a few hits on me there. Uh, uh, but I have also got some very powerful weaponry, which he is soon about to realise the potential of. Right. Go three Korra down. And uh, lost... Well, that last one took away quite a bit of my crew, to be fair, but that's still uh, more than a thousand IU from about two minutes. Just kind of hanging around this area, around Zotfock Pick Space, is pretty much like the best way to get resources now. It doesn't take up any storage space. And, um, you know, I lose pretty much about. Well, I don't. Basically, when I started, obviously, I was losing a lot of crew, and I think I even had to restart at one point because I lost so much crew or died. My lander died. But now, I'd say the best way to get our use, the quickest way to get our use, now that I've got pretty much mined all the best plants, is probably just to defeat the, the Urquan, really. So that might be something I do off camera, really. Just keep collecting IUs from the Urquan. Um, it's quite fun. Quite fun to destroy the Urquan as well. Probably good practice. But now I'm going up to Beta Corvi um, because that is the star which the Slyandro probe um, talked about. That is the coordinate. Beta Corvi is at those coordinates. So let's go. Um, now. Going. Now, the Aralu said people who live on a surface with no world, so I guess it's this planet here because it's a gas giant, because everything else is not a gas giant. So, hopefully, this is the planet where they live, which is strange, really.